<laughs> Moving on to can cook and build. Ah, all right, Jason, how are you doing, man? Can cook and build. He can cook and build, ladies. It's an all-in-one package. Okay, so take a look here. Uh, Elwood Adams Hardware. Where the hell is that? You must have gone out of city for that. Okay, so here, of course, you take a photo of a hardware store. Why not? <laughs> um, okay, looks good. Uh, if you're taking a photo of this, uh, you know, say for instance, you want to take a photo of this for you know, for a website, or you know, showing off the store itself, uh, or uh, or something like that. Uh, okay, I dig that. It looks like you can kind of crop it. These things are kind of distracting. It's a little bit too much space on the right side. Uh, so I, my suggestion would be uh, uh, maybe uh, hmm, get in a little bit closer. I was going to say pan to the left, but then you would have way more space on the left. But uh, I'd, I'd say take a step or two closer. Not too much because you do have uh, the right amount of height, I would say, here. Yeah, you can probably spare a little bit off the top. Um, maybe just a shave off the bottom uh, to step in closer just to cut that out. But... Uh, no, it looks good. You got the whole, you got the whole building in there. It's uh, nothing else is, you know, the sign is in there. And nothing else is cut off. Uh, looks good. I would have waited for that car to go. Uh, is just my other suggestion. That that car, kind of crowds a little, or maybe it fills it in. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel. Um, maybe if it was parked there, it, it just looks like it's you've interrupted it coming in or you know driving through the scene. Um, but uh, no, I dig it. Cool. By the way, what are you what are you shooting at here? You are shooting at uh, show more. Oh, the Rebel T4i. One hundred five six. Cool. Eighteen mil. Awesome. Um. Awesome. Okay. This. What's going on? Okay, you do got a lot of buildings here. Huh. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't say, this doesn't seem like the buildings are the subject for me though. It doesn't look like you're taking a shot of the buildings. This kind of looks like your camera just went off though. Um, and, and trust me, please. I'm, 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 I'm not trying to say anything to, you know, bad or negative again. I'm just saying what I think, but it, uh, it doesn't look like this was really probably framed up. It's a little off. I'm not against Dutch angles, you know, tilting the camera this way or that uh, in the sake of style. I don't tend to do it very often. Um, I use it sparingly, but uh, this, it, it it looks a little off. It doesn't look like there's much going on. Uh, like the, the, the buildings, it doesn't look like you were actually shooting the buildings. Um, I don't know. Plus, like, you know, the people, this girl walking, right, this girl looks more like the subject in this photo than the buildings. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure what else. Hmm. Whoa. Cool. That's what I want my bedroom balcony to look like. Look at that. More lions. Again, reminding me of Ghostbusters. Architectural photography reminds me of Ghostbusters. Weird. Okay. So where is this? This is a pretty wicked building here. Cool. Um, I may have... I probably would have brought it a little bit... Uh, framed a little bit higher. So you get the top here. Uh, just don't cut off the roof here. You could spare a little bit of the bottom to get the, the rest of this lion and uh, everything else. Uh, the, just the top of uh, of uh, the roof here, of the building rather. And uh, yeah, that would have been what uh, what angle are you shooting at here? That's 18 mil still. Of course, on the T4i, it's crop sensor, so you you do lose a little bit of uh, of the wide angle there. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I would have done. Um, otherwise, I don't know, maybe black and white it. It doesn't look like the, it does, you know, it's not, there's not much going on with, uh, uh, with, with the color. Uh, I, the building, the, the red of the building is, is dark compared to the rest of the scene, compared to the blown out sky, even the, uh, lighter colors of the building around it. So if you black and white it, that will, it'll be a dark contrast against the, the light bike background. That's just what I'm thinking, but, um, no, good job. Boston Burger Company. Fuck, now I'm hungry. God. Now I need a burger. I wonder if the burgers are any good there. Okay, uh, kind of going back a couple photos to, uh, to what I said a couple photos ago where um, the, the the hardware store. Um, or what is the what is the subject here? Are you just trying to take a picture of the 
you know, of, of you know, the sign of the building itself. Uh, the whole thing's off, you know, kind of on a cant to the left. Um, I don't know, what uh, what aperture are you at here? F5.6. Um, depending on the lens that you do have, I'm willing to bet... Uh, it doesn't say. I'm willing to bet that the lens that you were using was a stock lens, so maybe... Uh, has a variable aperture and so uh, maybe 5.6 was the most that you could do, that you could do or though uh, no a 24 mil no I should have been able to get a little bit more maybe 3.5 um, uh, I don't know what would I have opened it up a bit more I'm not quite sure what else I would have done it's just that, it's just that there's not uh, there's not too much going on here uh, I'm not you know I'm not quite sure what I mean, obviously, you're trying to shoot the Boston Burger Company. I'm not shoot. Ugh, I'm not sure uh, what else you could do to really separate that, uh, other other than going across the street and shooting it dead on, dead straight. Um, it's tough. Like shooting in these built up areas is really, really tough. I I know. Trust me. Um, so I know that's a that's a big challenge. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Do you guys have any tips on uh, on how Jason could have made this shot, uh, you know, stand out a little bit better, uh, other than yeah, I'm not quite sure what else. The other thing is uh, this sign is obscuring this. So I would have stepped at least to the right, open everything up, um, zoomed in right on the Boston Burger Company sign. Um, yeah, maybe would have done that. But uh, yeah, cool. Uh, what else do you guys think? Uh, gives it, you know, give Jason some feedback here because uh, I'm, I'm at a little bit of a loss. Okay, I think this is... Dude, I took the same shot same shot but different angle different composition cool okay yeah the the, the stairs running up uh, the uh, the side of uh church downtown um okay cool again yeah you, uh, you kind of cut it off at the top you just if if this photo had a head you'd be cutting it off so maybe frame it a little bit higher uh but i like what uh, what shirt are you at here you are at 1-800 okay sending 1-800 yeah you're capturing all like the snow coming down i'm not sure if that i'm not sure if that does anything for me it almost looks like stuff on the lens uh it's it's really fast um one tip that you guys can do if you want to i know that you have to sometimes compensate in the in the bright daylight when you're shooting uh by uh, increasing your shutter speed so that you can uh bring your exposure down um if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to close up the iris uh, but um, another thing you can do if you go get uh, go get yourself a, a variable ND filter um, the good ones cost you know, maybe a hundred bucks uh, you know you can get some cheaper ones uh, the variable ones are really cool because uh, it's just it's it's one filter uh, what it does it it's basically sunglasses for your camera so you can uh, stop down the exposure without having to adjust your settings so you can keep uh, a slow shutter speed and uh, if you wanted to uh, lose you know, some of that snow that kind of looks like stuff on the lens uh, or uh, you wouldn't have to you know close up your uh, iris you don't have to increase your f-stop um, or bump up your ISO you can just throw an ND filter on your camera and it'll bring down uh, the amount of light coming into your uh, in, uh, through your lens so that's one thing to do the variable ND filter means that you can you, you turn and you can adjust it and I think I've got one around here hold on yeah incredibly valuable for shooting video outside by the way so yeah this is it here so you can see it's pretty clear and then as i turn it, it gets darker yeah that's what the variable one does if you uh if you don't want to spend too much money on that you can get ones that are fixed uh nd so they're, they're they come in specific increments so you can't adjust them but they are a little bit cheaper um that's what i would suggest that and yeah you're just cutting off the top here um cool moving on ha of course so jason builds so this is uh is that actually you huh wicked i don't i can't tell if that's you or not but uh if, if this is taking a shot taken by you if it's not taken by you then you're disqualified um so yeah jason does build for uh for a living he builds uh he's built many things but uh, in, you know what's um, of most interest to me is he builds sets so he builds sets for uh, for plays and for movies um and he's uh, very talented at what he does so good on you cool thanks a lot jason